G'day, how are you? Welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. Today, we're talking about Kaikuya. What is it? Where does it come from? More importantly, a few tips and tricks on how to maintain it and keep it looking schmick so it can boost your street cred. All right, let's get into it. Where does Kaikuya come from? It originates in Eastern Africa. Kaikuya is a perennial turf variety, which means her lifespan is over two growing seasons. This is a warm season turf variety, which means we're gonna see active growth over 14 degrees Celsius. It will go dormant when we start to see the frosts and a bit chilly weather. That's normal, it'll start to go yellow. Don't worry, it hasn't died, it's just gone dormant. Um, it's gonna start hoarding all its energy and uh, energy and nutrients in the roots and protect itself over winter. Uh, don't worry, it hasn't, it hasn't died, unless you've hit it with the glyphosate or scalped it like I did the other week. Rookie mistake. So, Kaikuya prefers a medium to well-drained soil. So I've got this sitting on about 150 mil worth of uh, special mix loam for turf. And then uh, I put down about six tonne worth of gypsum on top of our highly reactive clay here uh, and ripped it in. That way the, the gypsum gets in there and, uh, and breaks up all of that clay so that the roots can penetrate and get more nutrients. Right, now it's time to talk fertiliser. We want to try and fertilise every four to six weeks. So in terms of watering, Kaiku doesn't need a whole bunch. Uh, about an inch per week or 25 mil per week. Now it is a drought tolerant grass. I'm not gonna say drought resistant. It will die off if you don't water it at all. Um, but because of the self regenerating nature of this lawn, it will bounce back. So over the summer, if it does go yellow because you haven't been watering it, she will bounce back, don't worry. That's great for our Australian climate because sometimes we hit the droughts and water restrictions are on and, and you can't water your lawn. Height of cut for the old Kaikuyu. She loves it at about 30 or 40 mil. That way you could probably be mowing once a week. If you want to get lower than that, you probably have to mow two or three times a week. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at that 40 mil mark at the moment, I reckon, because it's pretty spongy. You can see that, it's, it's definitely very spongy. But I've done that on purpose. We're in the middle of autumn at the moment, so I'm trying to generate more photosynthesis. So by, by having a, a, a taller leaf, it's uh, more surface area, can create more chlorophyll, which then produces uh, that, that green look. So um, if we can keep the height of cut a little bit higher over autumn, we're gonna see it go greener for longer. All right, in springtime, we're probably gonna renovate this old gill. What we wanna do is we wanna scalp it. We're gonna cut it right back to the dirt and it's gonna look terrible for two or three weeks. It's gonna take a while to bounce back, but trust me, it'll look great afterwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it. We're gonna scalp it right down to the dirt. It's gonna be yellow. You're gonna be taking out stylons and everything. It's, it's, it's hectic. You'll be producing trailers and trailer loads of clippings. Uh, then what we want to do is we want to core because that's going to relieve compaction of the topsoil and uh, allow us to get our water back into the root zone where we need it. And then we're going to top dress. So that top dressing is just uh, it's just coming back with a sand uh, and, and leveling back out the surface so we get a nice smooth mow. So welcome down to my patch of shame. This is where uh, she doesn't grow so well, probably due to uh, lack of sunlight and uh, traffic in and out of the shed door. How does Kaiku reproduce, baby? Uh, white fluffy seeds. You might see them, they're those white wispy, they blow in the breeze. They generally come out when the lawn's a little bit stressed, so in the spring or autumn time, when the temperature's not so warm. Or it sends out rhizomes and stylons. So stylons are these ones here on top, uh, that'll, that'll shoot out and, and send roots down and then there's rhizomes as well that are under the ground doing the same job. So they're all there to tax the nutrients in the soil and keep pumping energy into the plant. So, what are some of the pros and cons to this turf variety? It's drought tolerant, it'll bounce back if she misses a little bit of water here and there. It's self regenerating which means it's great for high traffic areas, you know if you've got kids and pets and, and whatnot, you know she'll take a bit of abuse and then come back. It's relatively easy to maintain, and uh, it's active over the summer months, which means, you know, if you're out here over the summer, that's when she's growing, that's when you need it. 
there are some cons for this turf variety. It does go dormant over winter time, which means you're not gonna have a nice green lawn. So you're gonna be a little bit yellow. Second of all, it's a pest. It's an absolute weed, this Kaikou. If you don't watch it, she will migrate into paddocks or into environmentally sensitive areas like creeks. So uh, be mindful of that. Uh, growth is invasive. Uh, the rhizomes and stylons will grow into your garden beds. I've got garden edging to a depth of 150 mil to try and stop that. It does have a low shade tolerance, so uh, like it does by my shed, I can't get it to grow real well there. So I'm probably going to turn that into a bit of concrete later. All right, that's enough of the jibber jabber, fool. It's time to get a mow. Alright, so it pays to make sure your real mower is actually cutting grass. So what you do is grab a piece of paper and uh, engage the cylinder with your hand and run it across the bottom. Make sure it's cutting paper.
All right, there we go, folks. All finished with the mow. Uh, so I won't show you the front lawn because we're burning daylight. Um, so like I said, we're bringing that height of cut up so that we've got more surface area on our leaf. What that's gonna do is help us to create chlorophyll and more photosynthesis, keeping it greener for longer in these colder temperatures. Bringing that height of cut up as well will help us um, choke out all of the weeds and weed competition over winter time. So uh, it might be a bit spongy and a bit thatchy, but that's okay. We need it like that to try and suppress some of the weeds over winter time. Please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment down below if you think that Kaikou is just a filthy weed. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you later. Uru.